All right, hey you guys. So this is gonna be a part two for Lori Harvey and Damson Idris. Okay, please tell me I'm saying his name right. Now, in the first part one, um, it was a lot of scheming and scamming. I want to see what's going on in this one. What's the energy now? Thanks everyone for liking and subscribing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with. Let's start with Lori Harvey's energy. Good. So great. She is a Capricorn, so this is perfect. Your hard work is paying off, and that was in a reverse. I'm gonna leave that here. What else do I have for her? A time for healing. I thought that's where we were going with this, and believing that impossible. Okay. So that's Lori. And for Damson, what do I have for him? I want you guys to be able to see the cards. Damson, Idris. D Idris, I don't want to disrespect and not get his name right. D Idris. I think that one is. Give it to me. One more. It is this one. It's this one. Yeah. He's a Virgo and you are good enough. And I think that's exactly what we need to see right now. The end of a tough cycle approaches and a new romantic cycle begins in a reverse wow and in between the two we have balance spirituality and practicality so this is where the problem lies okay now and the deck is closed on both sides so that's exactly how it was supposed to come out all right so this is what i'm going to say about lori harvey's energy your hard work is paying off in a reverse i always need a pointer y'all know that <laughs> this is so ratchet but your hard work is paying off in a reverse a time for healing and believing that impossible you guys um sometimes you just can't make fetch happen now i don't know if you guys see those pictures but i personally can read energy and ore like like that and when you look at it it's kind of a downgrade and you can see it written all over lloyd's face there's a downgrade so um if she is doing this for a reason, let's just say a movie role, publicity, um, clout chasing. I don't think it's clout, but anything like that. It's really not paying off. That's what I'm getting. It really isn't working in her favor. So if this is making him look good, it's not really working in her favor. Um, and a time for healing is needed. To jump from one relationship to another as a woman, that's already a lot anyway. That's very much so intense. And I don't know, I'm going to start with this step. Yeah, that was, she She did that pretty fast. She went from Mike to him. But like I said in the last reading, wow, and that popped out. Um, me time, music on, world off. She really hasn't had time to heal from that first relationship, not at all. But I just want to see some underlying issues in this, okay? Oh, but before I do that, again, <laughs> this is really important to Lori. This is what she hasn't had the time to do. But anyways, going back to her, believing that impossible. A part of me wants to feel, a part of me feel like she wants this to work. But I will be honest, um, that's that subconscious energy here. That's kind of like, uh, uh. Behind closed doors, because Pisces energy, full moon and Pisces, that's emotion, that's love, that's something between the two they may just be great um so another reader mentioned how capricorns and virgos are amazing but i had to say that capricorns and aquarius are the longest lasting couples mm -hmm. and i feel like and i don't want to take like too much of a deep breath but th this is exactly how i feel even how i'm breathing is like Please, please, the believe in that impossible. Like, let's just make this work. I don't personally believe that Lori Harvey wants to be in, and this is for entertainment purposes only, but I don't personally believe that she wants to be in a relationship that's based on, I don't think she keeps wanting to go in all of these relationships, okay? But I don't feel like this is a win. I, I don't see it happening. I think behind closed doors, they're fun. Maybe it's like a, I don't want to even say Martin and Gina because they last, but I would say the fun, the, 
that part of the relationship is what I'm getting from this. But as far as Lori, she hasn't, she is still like residue of Michael is still in her energy. Although for the first time, when I pulled this spread out, he isn't here. Okay, great. So that's Lori's energy and I'll start clarifying a few. Now over here for Damson Idris, you are good enough. And this is what I mean when I say, <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't feel it. I don't see it at all. A new romantic cycle begins in a reverse and a, the end of a tough cycle approaches Capricorn energy. This is Lori. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I don't know what it is that's going to be exposed, but this ain't it. This isn't the balance or anything, but I would say you are good enough. The Virgo energy. I don't feel like he can fill the shoes of Michael B. Jordan. I finally said his name because Lori's not over him. And if you know, in the first reading, for the life of God, I couldn't remember Michael B. Jordan's name. Uh, I kept having to say Creed and all of this stuff. Yeah, I don't see it. But you are good enough. It's going to be something. He's too fresh. He's too new. She's a vet compared to him. She's been in the field more compared to him. So let's just go into it and let's just see. And you guys, I'm doing this strictly for you and you only. Because <laughs> 9 times out of 10, I can kind of tell when I pull these cards, this is it. All right, so let's go into Lloyd's energy. This card keeps coming out. She needs some her time. Music on, world off. I really feel like we should just... Excuse me. Yeah, it's, it's noisy as you just heard that. Very loud. Narcissistic and controlling. That's a problem in this situation. And then we also have hidden truths. All right. Now, I don't know. I remember I said that something about him behind closed doors was a little different. Was a little different. To me, I think they're great as friends. But people say they see wedding bells. I don't see this at all. Lurking. Okay. Maybe just stalking and just that could just be some energy. See, I don't even know what this lurking card is, but I also have nothing. Pretty much heartbreak. Nothing will come of this situation. Anything else? Dance with me. Like I said, they are fun as friends together, but I don't see the relationship going that far. I'm also not God. You're not going anywhere. Narcissistic. So let's see. Hmm. I said in the beginning that there was something forceful about him and his behind closed doors. I said I had dated someone before who reminded me of him. Like smile, or dance with me. If you ever if you guys ever seen Tyler Perry's Diary of a Mad Black Woman, and then you seen that couple, the abusive couple, and I'm not saying that's what's going on here. I'm saying this is probably what it will lead to and turn out to. Hey, smile for the camera. Don't do that. Don't look like that. Don't move. Don't don't be that way. Don't it's, it's when the trolling car comes out, you guys, this is for clout. And I don't know who in though. It, it's kind of giving it's See, he's in the upright as in you good enough. You are good enough Virgo energy, but her hard work isn't paying off. Like this isn't this isn't great for her. And it's a part of me that feels like Lori. Alright, let's get into it. Anything else? No. I don't even think they hit the bedroom yet, I'm being honest. It could have all been so simple, but you had to make it hard, and I want you. It's something. This is just fake. Marriage candles and stuff. The marriage card, I don't see it going that far. That's also in a reverse, and it wanted to come out twice. Your heart, my home, just flew out on Lori's side the way it did. I'm going to tell you why, because she missed Michael. She ain't going to say it, but that's who she missed. As The star card is right here. Aquarius energy. I knew he was going to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about Lori. And let's see, clarify some of these messages. All right, so we have the lovers and we have the star card that is healing. This could have been indeci indecision, okay? Aquarius energy as well. 
Lori, the residue of Michael B. Jordan is still on Lori Harvey. I don't care what no one says. The residue of him, that breakup is still lingering in it. It's She can't get away from it in this relationship. So everything about this relationship screams rebound to her. The Four of Wands. That's exactly what the hell I thought. The Seven of Swords on his end. This is for fame. The Hierophant card. Taurus Energy. Family. Status. Name. Watch part one. Watch part one. Give me one more. I have the Three of Swords here on his end. And I have it coming fast. The heartbreak energy on his end, Nine of Swords. Either she's going to leave him or he's going to leave her. Whatever it is, is going to happen fast. What is this? Okay, yep. Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. Two of Wands no longer looking at this situation. What he's going to do with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups, he's going to find somebody else new. That's what he's going to do. Ten of Swords. And this will be karma. A part of me feels as if this, either eight of wands. A part of me feels like this. Either he was cheating 777. Seven, seven, that's lucky number seven. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Seven, seven, seven. Seven of swords, cups, and wands with the eight of wands. Let me get that one more time. Ten of cups. Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Like I said, this man is selfish. Nine, Virgo Energy, Nine of Cups. This is about him. Seven, 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 on his side, he hit the jackpot. This is about him, his status, his career, his everything. This, this isn't about Lori. This isn't about love. This isn't about Six of Wands in the reverse. Holding back. Going back to that corner to feel herself, to fix herself again. His fan, he, this is about him. The gossip, man in the news, open the sun, light being shed on him. This has been his dream since a kid. I told you, it's something about him. It's not saying that he's a bad person, but that's what this is. You know? Now, this could go another way. They could have children, twins, boys, and all that. I don't see that. You know, I also definitely see just two different calibers. Is he passionate about this relationship? King of Wands in the reverse? No. Not at all. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Right in between the chariot card, the white and the black. They are two different calibers. They do not fit each other. That's why that card was here. Spirituality and practicality. Something about this is off. Something about this is off. Okay, so... Let's see. Is is it about money? All right. Hangman in the reverse. You guys. <laughs> Emperor in the reverse. First of all, I don't even think her father is going to approve of it. This is a family thing. If these are her parents, I think it's Steve Harvey who's not going to approve of it. Is it about money? Ace of Pentacles, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, which is the Capricorn Taurus of Virgo. That's his energy over here. Yeah, it's about money, clearly. Opportunity, money, the Empress card in the reverse. So now you have the Emperor and the Empress card in the reverse. I'm telling y'all right now, it's not going to last. It's not going to last. All right, so let me clarify a little bit more. No, I already did that deck. Yeah, let's see what this is saying. Healing family issues, new love. That's exactly what this is. All right. So let go of control issues is still here. Attraction. That just flew out. And Relisha X flew out in the reverse. I mean, this shit don't even know how I want to come out. Excuse my language. Relisha X in the reverse. Hmm. I got deception and I have soulmate in the reverse. Reconciliation with who? I wonder who. I wonder with who. Anything else? Separation. 
That's what I thought. Anything else? Because even if this is like a date and phase thing, you guys, first of all, you got to be real. Give your relationship a chance and trust this in a reverse. Yeah, I don't see it going anywhere. But my thing about it is this. You mean to tell me you don't feel weird going into any event with, and I'm biased to everything, and the Seven of Swords popped out again. Deception. But I'm saying, you mean to tell me you don't feel weird going into any situation, any party, any event after just being the fee, not even a fiance. Was it the fiance? Did he propose? Did he propose to Megan? I mean, who the hell is Megan? And propose to Lori? I don't know. But you got to tell me you don't feel no type of way about walking into another event on someone who is less a lesser love caliber and you not the status. Are you kidding me? You were on Michael B. Jordan's arm. And now you're, look, the King of Swords. He's here again. That residue of him isn't over. You mean to tell me you are okay with walking into an event? I don't give a damn what the lights, camera, action say. You have to deal with these people. There is no way that you feel okay going into a building on this little kid. And, this, and I don't even want to say little kid. On this person's arm when you were just with the superstar. You get what I'm saying? It just don't make any sense. So, no. No, you have to train him. No, you have to tell him how to act. Yes, you are stressed out. Because you probably now the tables have turned in this situation. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to um, rename, what's his name? Damson Idris, whoever this lovely young man is. Rename him, call him uh, Lori's Karma. That's who he is. He will be the karma for Michael. In the end, from this past relationship with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords in the upright, Ten of Swords is what she is. Stress the hell out, okay? Five of Swords. Do you see all this Aquarius energy? The residue. This truth is going to come out, you guys. Um, This is, he is her karma. Queen of Cups. You want me to tell you why? Because something about him is going to have her fall in love. But let me tell you why it's not going to work. Because here's the Tower card. That unexpected of what he really is about and what he got going on. Mm-hmm. What he is about and what he has going on. Clout, 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 clout. And it's not what she think it's going to be. Six of swords, six of wands in the reverse again. Yeah. She's going to want to be accepted emotionally, but it's going to be something that he can't give her or something that she can't give. Okay. Long story short. What's this? The Temperance card and also the Knight of Earth. This is a rebound relationship if I've ever seen it. And this is also something that is supposed to happen. If she's not doing this because she wants to be in a movie role, which, what the hell? Why would you leave Michael because of that anyway? You know, if she isn't doing this because she wants to leave a movie role, Yeah. At the end of the day, Lori Harvey, Nine of Pentacles, will be a single woman. You guys, and that is part two, okay? I don't like to stress it. Again, I am not God. God is God. And if it does turn out to be something different, so be it. But what I have here is she will be a financially set, successful woman with the Queen of Earth and the, yeah, with the Queen of Earth and the Nine of Pentacles. That is her. And this would be a good move for her career. Sexually, do I feel like she's into this? Queen of Wands in the reverse? No. Ace of Wands in the reverse? No. Sexually, is she into this? Is she going to go for it? No. Seven of Swords. Lying again. In the reverse. She can't go past her emotions. Eight of Wands. Y'all, Lori does not like men. Then I just say that Lord does not like men. You see what's on this card? You see how it's in the lady in this card is holding this image to the death of her. Her lips are stuck to it. She's holding it. This card came out in the reverse. I wouldn't be surprised if the next relationship, because the sun card is in the reverse, the lover's card is in the reverse. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Three of Swords, heartbreak. Still heartbroken over who? The star. Do you see my symbol? Aquarius. She's still heartbroken, you guys. All right. And that is the end of this. There is still love. And Mr. Lone Wolf. There's an obsession he has with her. Idris something. This obsession, he may do love her or like her or lust her, but it is not going to work. This is what I see. I'm going to leave it alone. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, God. Yeah, this isn't it. Matter of fact, yeah, this isn't it. Let me tell you why. Because, damn, it just came out too. I wanted to see if it was going to come out again. Here's this card right here. When you try to replace someone with someone who's trying to be someone, it never works. But like I said, Lori's into women. She'll deny it until she can't deny it anymore. The priest card keep coming out too. I don't know what this Taurus is, but it's something like she feels like something is wrong with her. Like... Nope, I'm not going to go there. Like... Sexually, something's wrong with her. I don't know. I'm not even. All right, y'all.